Boom, viewers, subscribers. I can get me these quick updates because trust. If it's not forward from King Mix Up, it's not credible. I keep on telling you that, but you don't know the thing said, people. Bless up on this up and that sun. This out there, you know, but you know my style. I already one bag of one and one, and I gotta give you this daily updates from the people you see and you don't see on the screen. That's why it's extremely important to watch the end so you don't miss a thing. You feel me? And with that being said, let's get straight into it. Okay, people, dancehall artists, or I should say the crocodile artist, <laughs> is finally responding to Gage. Yes, approximately three weeks later. You see me, I said, because you know Gage did ask Gilly Bang, I want go on. Let's take a listen as a reminder. Gilly Bang, I go on with the Bang. Gilly Bang, I go on with the Bang. And you know, because of YouTube copywriting, we can't play the full song. But if you remember, Gage says Skilly Bang basically fell off ever since he signed um, to the majors. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? But anyway, you know, 16 Trapper just trapped six days ago, you see me, I say, and gone a million views already. And Gage, Wag One Way, mentioned Skilly Bang's name. Um, it was released three weeks ago and it's still haven't reached 1M yet. It, there are 500 at toast. You see me, I say, so Skilly Bang is asking Gage, what well, really are yeah, Guan? You see me, I said, because it looked like, said, the song is not as hot as female. Now, I'm going to tell you the reason why Gage's song got so much views to begin with. Um, like I did in my original review, this is what vloggers do. Everything Gage said, the vloggers them done review already. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it didn't really make sense for him um, to do a track like that, you feel me? Unless he was looking attention because he name dropped all of the hottest artists them. You know what I mean? Um so with that being said, you know say so all of the fan base them are gonna listen and all of these stuff. But it's some things that they already heard already. You know what I mean? This is why um I feel musicians shouldn't comment on what other musicians is doing in other business. You know what I mean? You know, just focus on what they're not doing. But with that being said, since Gilly Bang acknowledged Gage, um, putting out a comment section, who do you think will win in a lyrical clash, Gage or Skilly Bang? You know what I mean? I haven't heard Gage respond to Skilly Bang yet, um, but I'm pretty sure he's in the studio working on something. As a man says, so I'll keep on the posting on what I'm going from that to go on. You see me? Yeah, let's proceed. Oh, before I forget, as you know, um, <laughs> Skilly Ben cancels his part of he going on tour with Chris Brown. As you can see, they put out an announcement saying Skilly Ben tour cancellation. And we know this because they try to play Skilly with giving him less money. That's what the streets is saying. But anyway, it says it is with a heavy heart that Skilly Ben Eastside Records would like to announce to his fan his withdrawal from the Under the Influence Tour, Europe specifically. We were looking forward to being on the road with our brother Chris Brown and doing what we both do best, which is entertaining our fans. Due to unforeseen circumstances beyond our control, we could not make the Europe leg of the tour happen. We look forward on being, look forward to being on the road again. Skilly Bang, Eastside Records so. though. Like I said, people, it probably wasn't worth it for Skilly Bang to go up on tour um, with Chris Brown. You see me, I say, um, if you know more than what I know, please put in the comment section and help the community out. With that being said, let's proceed to the next. Okay, people, the king of dancehall, Beanie Man, has weighed in on this clash with Mr. Vegas and Bounty Killer. You see me, I say, and he said, I'm not like it. <laughs> In fact, he is quoted saying, Men I like this war with Mr. Vegas and Bounty Killer because it not make no sense. Beanie Man said, You see me, I said, Him said Vegas are 40 yard and Bounty Killer are 50 yard. Where Una I go with that? You see me, I said, As you know, Bounty Killer is 50 years old and Mr. Vegas is 48. You see it. But you know, Beanie thing is unity. You see me, I said, And this is why he was explaining when Vibes Car tell them, um, when them never want to organize and link up with Mavado, me go check him, Beanie said. He continue, me say, y'all done actively, you know, the others ends. You and Mavado need to go get together. Him, Vibes Cartel, come on TV and say, a film idea. You know what I mean? Well, he went on to say, you know, him never want to sing no gunman song and all of these stuff and things and things. But 
You know, people clashing is a part of the culture. You feel what I'm saying? And I bet these people, I bet these people, you know, do it lyrically than do it physically. As Mr. Vegas seemingly responds um, to Beanie Man and he says, you know, King Beanie Man, leave the war alone. You see me? I say, and Beanie Man really don't have no room for talk because we all know, say, Beanie Man is also bad man. Yes, people, it's no secret that every chance Beanie Man go up on an interview, my this of elephant man or somebody. And we know him and the younger generation, or some of them not really agree. You know what I mean? Cause I remember what they yeah, I'm kick up Bobby Six and all of this stuff. But what I'm noticing with this war with Mr. Vegas and Bounty Killer is, it look like say Bounty Killer is spending money um, for the DJ then to play his songs but i'm not saying that's wrong i'm just saying it looked like said a word upon two battlefield social media and in other dance them you see me i say obviously bounty killer is losing on social media because he hasn't released anything officially yet you know what i mean he's just giving away free dubs and making the select that each of them have fun with it you know what i mean unlike Sobi. Oh, and you know, is getting a lot of support out here, you know what I mean? But nevertheless, did Bounty Killer batty up the war? Because him always a batty up Mr. Vegas, but yet sell him shit out to fish sons, you know what I mean? And this is all he's been posting, like, let's take a look. Um, but anyway, me, I just the messenger, me not upon nobody's side. Bounty Killer said the fish them song sucked, stuck upon the internet. <laughs> now come off with sound. I could play that against my song, Bun Up. You see, me, I said this is the bullying, this is the buying, this, you know what I mean? They sang them for play, for play, and let the people them decide. You know what I mean? Not the selected them. Him said, one shot kill, I don't even have to do any more songs unless I want to. The fish death is being celebrated in many different languages and genres. Catch the new bones, them name. Boop, boop, boop. And he said this because, you know, Mr. Vegas did an interview with Vlad TV where he said, you know, he took pictures with some transgenders or, you know, some people from the LGBT community. You see me, I say, and Bounty said, him can represent for dancehall or Jamaican. Here are the fish, E. Clifford, all a twang to blood clad well converted so is me fishing out the war or is uno sent out to war with me so what should i sing about now pig and goat that's dance or drag queen do i even need to sing or say anything else i am having fun while exercising my guns and ammunitions but a big flying fish um that sea um what well, im go far into for popularity anyway a Jamaica in book me Africa look for the fish pan hook. He also went on to say, where well, this song there, this is Mr. Vegas responding to Bounty Killer, you know, making fun of him, taking pictures with transsexual. He said, no, you said the little you them are mash up the business, so why you not show them the correct way? The fact of the matter is you cannot clash anyone without labeling them as a fish. Drag Shabada lady, hence the reason why you cannot drop no more song. At Digicel, whatever brand ambassador is doing a fine job, you should give him a raise. Bounty Killer, I believe it's time to give your gay sons hugs. They came out to you, came out of you, grow the F up. Stop being a 50 year old boy, get off the Ross net, and go finish the song. The war, I get cool. And this is where Mr. Vegans gets saucy. I'm ready to respond. He says, share and let this go viral. One love for all under the face of the sun. Bone to kill it, a pedophile. And his minions believe it is better to take pictures with pedophiles and rapists. Because, you know, him put all the birth certificate with Bounty. You know, being the father of a child that had a child when she was 15 or 14 or 13 or 12. He said, nevertheless... Um, than to take pictures with fans from the LGBTQ community. Truth is, I would take pictures with all my fans, even Bone to Killer gay sons. At this point, the whole world has realized that Bone to Killer, the new Usain Bolt, is just a bully with no substance, no life, and no wife. It has been five days since I dropped Run Up, and all he is doing is running around like a headless chicken, digging for dirt and songwriters to save him from a little singer, Mr. Vegas. You could have deal, you are got down <laughs> with the music there. The people them tired of the tracing and Instagram bit biting. But in at the Ross studio, you said you were going to end my career 
and that we await upon music you see me I see me people so I'm gonna know I'm gonna put in the comment section like I said whether this um clash days on social media or it ventures out into the dance world we all are getting what we want you know what I mean drama <laughs> But I would like to see um, some non-biased selectors out there that can run, you know, the two song them together and let the people them hear it side by side and, you know, let them converse and all of these things. Because we know Sir Bounty Killer is using money um, for these selectors to play his ish. And most of these people in the dance hall are some suck hood wagonists. So they're going to be on um, Bounty's D-I-C-K, you see me? But me just giving an update while I go on for me to go on keeping up with that clash thing. You see me, I said the people have so big I lead the thing, but Bounty thinks differently. Put in the comment section what you think about that. Okay, people, remember to go on the King Mix Up channel and check out what I go on for me to go on. As you know, Massacre, them said, just signed here with Def Jams and all of this stuff. And you know, I'm just getting a million yeah. subscribers on YouTube. You know what I mean? That's definitely a good look. You see me, I said, um... But I forgot to mention um yesterday, Vibes Cartel is also doing it as well, <laughs> which is nothing new. You see me, I say, especially with this hot ass track, Fever. You know what I mean? It just went silver in the UK. And that's definitely a good one, because you know how long the song they out. You see me, I say, only can look for the release date. Um, for the synthing in, you see me, I say. And when it went certified, you know what I mean? So it's definitely a good look. Selling silver in the UK is 200,000 copies. You know what I mean? So money a blood clad make all this, you see me? On top of money, because you know it done gone gold already in America. And you know when you go gold, I think it's half a million um copies sold. I could be wrong, or half a million to a million. But it's definitely a good look altogether. It's almost a million sales just off of that single. You know what I mean? So... Bless up yourself, Vibes Cartel, you see me, as well as the fastest man in the world. He just received a billboard for his living the dream um, song. I'm pretty sure this is off of his album, you know, The Country Boys, you see me. And he said thanks to all of my fans who have supported me in everything I do. Just know I don't take these moments for granted. Hashtag country youths. Oh, yeah, that's the name of the album. So, let's get an update while I go on for my to go on. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified when we chat the latest in the dance, all news, musical reviews, and gossips. Bless.